This is the season of the gray whale. California gray whales make one of the longest migrations on the planet, often traveling up to 6,000 miles between Mexico and the Arctic. The first wave is made up of adults, more than 30 tons of seagoing force. Killer whales have been known to attack these leviathans, but they do so very rarely. It's the next wave they're waiting for. Coming up the coast of Mexico are the mothers and their newborn calves. The greys, ever wary of their only predator, tend to hug the coastline. But there is one stretch in their epic migration where the gray whales cannot hide, the broad expanse of Monterey Bay. To get across, the greys must pass above an underwater chasm the size of the Grand Canyon. Now, they are swimming across open water, a mile deep. The killer whales can hear every sound they make. It's a dangerous passage for mother and calf. Marine biologist Nancy Black has seen what can happen. A few years ago, we found killer whales closing in on a gray whale, female and calf. I was really excited because it was one of the few times I've had an opportunity to see killer whales hunting together as a team. It's very rare because Monterey is one of the few places in the world where you have an opportunity to see something like this. As the attack began, Nancy recognized the members of a transient pod. Joined by other transient groups, they encircled the gray whales, blocking their escape. Then they began to ram the calf to separate it from the female. The calf struggled to climb on its mother's back, desperate to get out of the water. But it couldn't stay on for long. To help her calf, the mother turned belly up. But the killers renew their attack. The killer whales spent a lot of time bashing and they rammed and hit the gray whale calf. They looked like they were causing a lots of internal injury to the calf when they did that. As the prey tired, one female transient made a dangerous maneuver. Moving in alone against an animal six times her size, she tried to separate the calf from its 30-ton mother. The rest of the pack joined in to shove the calf away from its mother. Then they began to push it below the surface. If they could keep it down, its lungs would fill with water. But the mother would not give up on her calf. The calf spent a lot of time rolling on top of its mother and alongside of its mother too. And that rolling behavior seemed to prevent the killer whales from getting in the middle between the mother and calf. In the end, it was the killer whales that gave up. Two hours after the attack began, mother and calf escaped, and the killer whales went hungry.